Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to good fella sports TV. Woo! All right, man. Shout out to Herb for translating what uh, Laura said, and shout out to uh, shout out to uh, Jim and our hoops also for helping out him and his lady help me out translate what Laura was saying. So. Uh, let's talk about what Lars said, but also uh, I, I'm gonna talk about Triple G and Andre Ward beefing on Twitter. I'm gonna get at their own video. So, but uh, Tiafimo Tiafimo Lopez Sr. was on uh, Punch Drunk Channel. He did an interview talking about the rumors about him, his son training with Eddie Renasso. He said that he's still not the head trainer if that's what they decide to do, right? And I mean, bro, check the light. It is what it is. Sorry, y'all, but you know how the time be. We need to get some gas. <laughs> but he said that uh, he still to know he still no more uno, and yeah, I respect that, you know. But you know, most people don't think he know what he's doing. Even you know, just to let you know, his son was a uh, three belt unified champion, you know, lineal champion, ring belt. He never was undisputed. I, you know, if it's a dispute, it's a dispute. They created a belt for Lomachenko, but you know, it is what it is. He lost, but. Obviously, obviously, everything is, is magnified when you lost. I remember Berto. Berto had this right tr white trainer. And he didn't like... He knew what he was doing, bro. And, um... Yeah, he didn't like he knew what he was doing, bro. But, to, but until Berto lost, then, it, then it, it became bigger than what it was. I forget what the dude's name was. Tony something. He didn't like he knew what he was doing. That's just my opinion. That's back in the day. He didn't know shots thrown, but... But, uh... You know, like I said, I reported that a while ago that uh, T.O. was looking about joining with Adrian Alonso. So I broke that news. I like to thank me, but like I said, <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. But, you know, at the end of the day, he got to let Eddie do what Eddie do, bro. I think he just need to learn. You know, he, you know, he's a good coach, trainer of the year, you know. Sean was unified champion, you know. But I think he just need to learn. That's your son going there to do is learn. Learn what he don't know. And if you if you really got the if your ego if your ego is so big that's gonna get in the way of your son's health and safety, then I mean it is what it is. You know, you wanna be the lean trainer, you wanna keep the money in the family. We all just keep doing what y'all doing, but going with the 140, man, that's the most dangerous division outside of 154 pounds. It's dangerous. We got, you know, eventually Robert Jr. hopefully will return healthy. I mean, you're talking about Montana Love, Gary Anton Russell Jr., Devin Haney could be going up there, Regis Progress, Josh Taylor, Jack Catterall, uh, Jose Zapata. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, Sabrio Matisse. You know, it's, it's dangerous up there. He can sit there and, you know, talk and pop all the shit he want to talk, but it's dangerous, bro. No matter how he can slice the cake. Going up there, bro, it's dangerous. And... You need an edge with, with Eddie Renasso. And he get all that edge, you learn something, you go back and doing what you want to do. But if Eddie is what's best for your son, you know, you get Eddie pointers about, you know, how you kind of motivate your son, what he been doing. But then you just you just assist what Eddie doing. But, you know, daddy, uh, you know, big-headed daddy syndrome been an issue in boxing for a minute now, bro. Real talk. Been a big issue. So... Said before, so it could be a good move. You know, Virgil Hunter said Virgil uh, Ortiz said, you know, Oscar Del Hill said Virgil Ortiz didn't have time for him and Ryan Garcia. So yeah, it, it could be a good move. Well, you know, Eddie Renasso handled, you know, some of the things that need to improve on, and then Teal Senior learned from Eddie Renasso and handled the other half of the camp. So, you know, two trainers can't hurt Bug. I like both. And everybody probably brings something different to the table. An extra set of eyes can't can't hurt, but somebody got to be the chief and somebody got to be the Indian. When it come to Bud, everybody know Bo, Bo Mac is the chief. And everybody else just, you know what I'm saying, fall in line, you know what I'm saying, and give what they give and do what they do. And, you know, and it worked for them. Now, it might not work for TFM Lopez, it worked for everybody else, but like I said before, it's interesting. Very interesting, so... Like I said, everybody, you know, got a got a pain, bro. But we do know 
old kid from Lopez coming off a loss to Cambo. So, so if there wasn't nothing wrong in that loss, don't change nothing. If there's just physically something wrong with you, but going up to 40, anybody can beat you on any given night. That's a fact. Anybody can beat you at 40 on any given night. And he need an edge. He gonna be, you know, people say he'd be stronger and bigger at 140 pounds. So everybody else, you know. And just like, what's his best attribute, bro? And it's it's, it's counter punching. He's a pocket counter puncher. You know, he likes to sit in there and operate. But like I said before, right now in my opinion, bro, I don't see him being a top 10, 140 pounder. I know you like you crazy, you know, he was a champion. Anybody could be a champion today, bro. Like, like that's no disrespect, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think you want, and I, yeah, I said that. I think Devin Haney got an uphill battle, you know, at 140 pounds. Them some big dudes, man. It's a real Matisse, so he can take a shot. He didn't give it progress. Montana Love coming. Gary Anton Russell, Victor Postal, they fighting this weekend. They still two really good, uh, Fighters, I mean, like I said before, man, ain't nothing but wrists. 140 pounds ain't nothing but wrists. So he going up there thinking he about to run through Josh Taylor. Yeah, he might get Josh Taylor on the off night. Who am I to say you can't? But tell you that. Mm -hmm. That's on you, but. Probably best letting Eddie Renoso, you know, critique his son and, and seeing what's wrong. But, mm, mm -hmm. But, um, they confuse the boy and he lose. We blame it Eddie Renoso. So, Ronald Barbosa is the name I've been hearing. But, who is he? And I heard the boy got a deal with ESPN, he got a network deal. Was it two or three fights or something? Three, three fights like that? So, two of the fights supposed to be going on pay-per-view. I don't know how true that is, but that's what I heard, bro. Hey, I ain't mad at him, bro. They believe in him. He should have just dropped them belts and left Cambo so long. That wasn't number risk. But he got hella money out of it, so. I feel you. It's your bad. But, um. Outside of that, man, I mean, see, like I said, I heard Lars said he's going to be on the co-main event May 7th for Canelo card, so I believe that's what they translate and he said, so that means that uh, Canelo going to be going to the PBC or I don't know. So maybe Canelo will take on Jamal Charlo. No, I don't know, man. I heard he supposed to be announcing people, so maybe Lars going over to the zone. Maybe we, we miss her. Mm. Maybe he misunderstood, but... That's what he said. We got a jam packed day. I got to get my food in when I can. But that's what he said. No, I shouldn't be eating no damn Chick fil A, but it's good. For sure. Shout out to y'all. But, hey, that's up to him, bro. So, Laura going to be in there on the Canelo on the card. Hey, I don't know. Sound like PBC might have something. Unless Wilder and Ruiz gonna fight on May 7th, they gonna go head up with the zone. Like I said before, you you know, if you ask me what fight, if I had to buy or put on the big screen, how about that one? And once fight our stream, I'm definitely watching Wilder and Ruiz over uh, Canelo and the Beeble. But I think Canelo Beeble do better depending on how the zone do the pay per view. So if they do it on the zone pay per view and just do the app. I think, I, I, mean, I think Wilder and Ruiz got a chance. I'm just saying, this is me assuming. I don't know. But if, uh, but if, uh, you know, that's one thing I can think about, bro. If it ain't Canelo and Bevo or Canelo and Charlo, maybe Canelo coming to PBC. And if he is, gonna set a lot of y'all up. Dude, you know, Bevo will always be there. You know? Fight nobody that can be him no time soon. Um, so I don't know. We have to wait and see what's going on with Lara, bro. But 
Yeah, I mean, obviously, I love to see Canelo take on Bebo. I mean, uh, take on Charlo and take on Benavidez. And, you know, I think he beat both of them. Benavidez got a chance, though. Mm hmm. Benavidez a bad boy. But his technical deficiencies might show up there. So, um, we have to wait and see. But, um, yeah, that's what he said. Let me double check. So yeah, he said he's supposed to be the cold man on Canelo. So maybe he maybe he got some old information, bro. So maybe he got some new information. So mm. I'm down. She did. Well, who we gonna fight? Probably Laura. I mean uh Luis Arias. Maybe Jerry Heard fight. Hey. Okay. Here's what it is. He, he should be able to be heard easy now, nah, bro. Last time Laura fought. Mm. I can't remember. I don't know why I think the Castanos fight the last time I seen him, man, but he fought since then. Um, oh, he fought Cornflake. Yeah. Yeah, he fought. That was a while ago. He had too much milk for Cornflake. Yeah, I remember that. So, yeah, he fought Cornflake. So, yeah, that's what it was. But, hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Check the boxing uh, news and playlists out. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button, the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase the chance of notification. We go live and drop a video. Um, want to financially support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Memo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Um, other than that, man, I appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. If you want to find me everywhere, I'm producing content on social media. Hit the link tree link in the description. Peace. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You right there watching this video, waiting for this live stream to start. Or just watching the membership video, man, and why you should join the membership. Let's talk about it real quick, expeditiously. Um, we got the three levels. You got the rookie level. You got loyalty badges. You got custom emoji badges. And you have members on the live stream. As we get more people flowing in uh, to join the membership, I have members only live chat. That means everybody can see the video. They want to see the video. But only members will be able to chat. That's $3. That's a rookie. Dog Star, you get personal shout-outs before the videos. Maybe after the video, mostly likely before the videos. Um, you give a priority to reply in the chat. Uh, so as soon as I see you, I reply before anybody else. Get early access to pretty much all my non-boxing videos um, there, $10 a month. Then we got the boxing pound for pound superstar for all my boxing boys and, and gals out there. Get early access to prediction and most of our boxing content, virtual video collaborations and open debate. So, you know, if you wanna pre-record or go live and debate me for a whole video, you got you got early access to new videos, some of the videos in the All Stars will too, and priority reply in the comments. So I see in the comments you get priority reply. You no know, instantly that's twenty dollars a month. So uh, let me know what you guys do what you think. Don't have a Patreon no more. So here's where you're gonna get some of that exclusive content I used to have on the Patreon. Peace.